Um, so I worked with Pat de Carter, it was the charge for her when I went to Queen Elizabeth, and she was a bit of a disciplinarian, but she also had a soft side to her, which was... And at one of the morning teas, she brought some mail in to people, and she gave me a card that I opened, and it said, um, congratulations on your forthcoming marriage, and best wishes for the future and it was just signed by this person it didn't have have to anybody and it just had and she gave it to me it was in an envelope with my name on and I thought well I at that stage I had no intentions of getting married and so we and she was Miss Simmons in those days um, and so we talked about it as in a big staff room wide and it turned out nobody knew anything about it nobody was getting married but we went away for the summer break, which was just a week or so, and came back, and she had been married in that time. And that card was meant for her, but someone had put my name on it. So she, ended, um, so that really let the cat out of the bag, but it, it was a bit late that we realised that what it was about. So, yeah. She used to have this big voice. Well, she still, at those days, she did have, well, she had to, to run the department, I suppose. And she used to stand at the, at the into the room and yell, "Is there an aid?" <laughs> and because you don't, we don't use that word now in departments. Um, is there an aid? Yeah. And anybody who recalls Pat de Carter will recall that that sentence because that's what she used to say it was her her trademark. She used to stand there to try and get attention to get somebody. Oh, in those days we had to. At the end of the day, all the beds, of course, had to be tidied and the pillows had to be fluffed and all the openings had to be away from the door. I remember, we, yeah, I don't know if people do that these days or nursing staff do, but that was an old sort of nursing trick that was to, to spin the pillows and fluff them up and have the opening put down so the opening was away from it. And she would check them at the end of the day and make sure that everything was tidy. Mm. There's still staff there at Queen Elizabeth that I were there when I started. Yeah, so people have worked long time at Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm.